Originally described as Tiliqua Fernandi by Edward Burton in 1836, the fire skink has adopted many different names over the years. These funny looking skinks can be found in Guinea, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Togo, Benin, Nigeria, Cameroon, Centrafrique, Gabon, and many other African countries. These medium-sized skinks, measuring up to 12 to 14 inches long, thrive in microclimates. Their favorite pastimes include, but are not limited to, hiding under the cool and moist leaf litter, digging galleries under banana plantations and cocoa plantations, hunting for small insects and invertebrates, and they're always on the lookout for decaying matter, such as fruits, flowers, and carrion. These animals can adapt quickly to new environments. They can also regenerate their tails, and they're mostly active during the wet season. Now, let me show you how I keep a pair of fire skinks. I like to provide many hides, many plants, a good substrate for them to burrow. The temperatures in the terrarium vary between 78 and 88 degrees, sometimes 90 degrees. I like to provide a basking area. These animals don't actively bask, but that's what I do during the wet season. I like to provide a little basking area. During the wet season, actually most of the year, I like to mist the enclosure daily. During the dry season, or winter, I like to keep the temperatures in the terrarium between 75 and 80 degrees. During this time, the animals do not have access to a basking area. That is just a personal choice, that is how I cycle these animals during the winter, or dry season. During this time, I like to keep the humidity between 50 and 60% and I only miss the enclosure once or twice a week. As for the feeding, I like to feed them five to six times a week during the wet season, so most of the year, and I prefer to feed them only two or three times a week during the dry season or winter. The food items include crickets, dubia roaches, many various insects, invertebrates, reptile eggs, bird eggs, chicken hearts on occasion, as well as shrimp and maserai pellets on occasions, and I also like to give them some skink mush. The animals do not have access to water, they don't have a food, uh, sorry, they don't have a water bowl, I just prefer to miss the enclosure, and the animals drink the droplets, that are present in their terrarium during such time. These animals can apparently live up to 20 years of age, and something that I noticed is that these animals are very intelligent. Some people say that these animals are shy. I personally do not agree. I think they're just a little paranoid. They like to study the terrain before emerging from their slumber. These little fire skinks can be a little cautious, but it's okay. In time, they will become very tame, very social, and very friendly. It takes a little bit of time. With most animals, we like to tame or socialize or handle these uh, said animals. With fire skinks, it's, once again, just a personal observation, but I like to think that they are a little bit different uh, in a way that they study you. They like to tame and socialize you before uh, being handled. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just a personal observation that I notice. 
Now, I keep two animals together. These are two females, but you can keep a male and a female, or you can keep a trio, which is one male and two females. Uh, but I would recommend to avoid uh, keeping two males together. Now, a little sum up. Fire skinks, what are they? They're a little bit cautious, but they can become very friendly. They're very intelligent, adaptable, they can be brave and courageous. And they also have a special ability, they can regenerate their tails, which is pretty impressive. Well, that concludes our uh, little video about fire skinks. I hope you liked this video. Please feel free to share this video. Remember, a little clickety-click, you subscribe to our channel, and I will see you very soon for another episode of 221B Reptiles.